Hey, what's up? So I haven't done a what's on my iPhone video in a while, so I'm going to do that today. And I figured I'd show you guys what's on my new iPhone. That way you guys can get some ideas for apps and things like that. And yeah, I'm just going to go right in and start opening my phone. This is my little baby Mika. She's about like a year and a half old. She's a teacup Yorkie and she's really cute. She's kind of grumpy though. She doesn't like birds or little kids, but... Yeah, I'm just going to unlock my phone using Face ID. Alright, so I dimmed the light a little bit in my beauty room. That way you guys would be able to see the screen a little better. But I'm going to go through and show you guys what's on my iPhone XS. So some of them I'm not going to open up kind of like calendars. Because I think everyone pretty much knows what calendars is. And I actually haven't started writing anything in there recently. So it's pretty empty. Uh, the second one I have is just my regular mailbox. I also downloaded this Gmail app so I can have my Gmail separate because this one has like a lot of different things and if I keep it in the mail it's just going to show a huge number of emails so if you want to save uh, a little space you can just download the Gmail app and put your second email on here. So I have that there. I have my YouTube app here which I just like to kind of just watch videos and yeah i just use this when i'm out i'll go on here and kind of like catch up on some videos and stuff like that uh, my photos i'm gonna show you guys the last three photos that i took so that's me right there and let's see i have starbucks this was actually last night i got home and i asked for the largest starbucks cup that they had and they gave me this it was huge um so i had to share it with my husband but yeah this is a starbucks cup and then this is just like some nail inspo I was looking for something with nude nails because I love nude nails. So I just uh, saved this inspo for the next time I go get my nails done. So here I have the news app and I love this app. I use this on my iPad every morning and just catch up on the news and like world news and things that are going on. And I don't know, I just like this app a lot because it's very informative and it just has like a ton of things on here. It even has like entertainment and like uh, world news today and everything so this is a good app to use this next one here is my social media box I usually organize everything into little folders but um, as you can see some of this is like just a mess so um, I'm just gonna be honest with you guys I didn't clean it up or anything I just kind of left it like that and um, I'm gonna show you guys those apps in a minute but here I have my social media folder and this is where I have Instagram. If you guys want to follow me on Instagram, it's Jules Elizabeth. I haven't been posting uh, that often recently just because I'm trying to stay off of like going on social media for a long time. So I just go on and like a bunch of pictures and then I hop right off or I'll kind of just uh, post a picture and then kind of like a bunch of people's photos and then just jump right off so I don't stay stuck because... I know you guys know that if you go on for a while, you'll start deep diving and yeah, sometimes it's not uh, healthy to be like on social media all the time. So yeah, I try to take a little bit of time off of social media and just uh, focus on other things. But I also have the Twitter app and I like going on Twitter a little bit more because they have things like this, um, like this page called Spaces and they just have like all these cool like interior designing things i mostly post like healthy food stuff um i watched the ufc fight last night i don't know how many of you guys watched that but it was the john jones alexander gustafson fight and it was really good and yeah i just kind of just post random stuff on here but it's mainly like food and health stuff so if you guys want to check out my twitter account that's my twitter um, Snapchat, I haven't actually really used Snapchat at all recently. I just use it for, uh, like, the filters or if I want to save, like, this marble picture, I can save it and use it as a wallpaper. But I haven't been on Snapchat recently, but I'm going to try to get back on Snapchat and start using it again. Uh, here I have YT Studio, which is basically the YouTube studio, and this is where I reply to all of my messages. Sometimes the only thing I don't like about this is some uh, comments won't show. So if you see I haven't replied to a comment or something, I'm probably not seeing it. I have to log into the computer. So I'm going to try to go on my computer this week and just um, double check everything. But usually all of the comments 
pop up right here and this is where I reply to all of my comments and can kind of go through my video and make sure everything's um, working well so yeah uh, the YT studio is really good for content creators and you can just see like analytics and everything on here so yeah it's a pretty cool app I also have the Google Plus app and this is just uh, where I'll repost like videos that I made and I don't really use this one that much either but it does come in handy when I want to post something public as far as like a YouTube video or something goes so yeah I use this sometimes and that's pretty much everything inside my social media app before I head out I use my weather app a lot and next to it I have my notes this is just basically the things that I like to do for the day like my to-do list and as you can see here, I have veggie dinner, wash towels, wash clothes, call dentist, squats and bike, and hair color. So just very basic, boring, everyday things that I have to get done. But it does come in handy because sometimes I'll forget um, to do something. So yeah, I just always jot it down on my notes. Um, here I have the iTunes store and the app store. Oh, this show I started watching on Amazon Prime. If you guys have Amazon Prime, you have to watch this. It's so good. It's called Homecoming and it's with Julia Roberts. I love her so much. And it's a really, really, really good show. I ended up um, watching it and it took me a couple weeks to finish because I was a little busy. But um, if you have free time, definitely check it out. And down here I have basically all my extras. So this is just stuff that came with the phone that I don't normally use. The stuff that I use the most I'll keep on this like first page so like my calculator. This is the watch app that connects to my Apple Watch, uh, podcast, Apple Store, voice memos, stuff like that. And then the other ones are just extra stuff that I don't really use. I just kind of bunch them up in here in the extra folder just to kind of keep it out of the way and just make it a little neater. And then I just have settings, phone, messages, Safari. To the right here I have my Apple Music and this is basically a playlist that I created. Ariana Grande, Camila Cabello, Shawn Mendes, and Mac Miller. So this is just one of my playlists. I also have a uh, different genre playlists. So I have one for dance music, alternative, and like hip-hop and R&B. So yeah, this is just like my little playlist. And then here you can browse and actually get like as much music as you want unlimited um, just for like a monthly price so I just pay for it because it has a lot of different uh, playlists and things that are already created that you can use this one says New Year's Eve mixes and on here I usually go here to look for new music and everything that's new will kind of pop up and you can just kind of download whatever music you like so yeah this is one of my favorite apps so on the next page I have all of these apps here it's kind of a mess I have a lot of these that I just downloaded and I haven't organized them so I'm going to be honest with you guys they're just like all over the place but the most important apps I have are right here on the top and the one that I use the most is Amazon Prime. I love Amazon Prime. Uh, you just pay like a yearly fee. You get free two day shipping. It comes really fast and they have like everything on here and the next uh, one that I use the most is the Sephora app surprisingly huh. Um, I love buying makeup, but I like to also get a good deal. So on here, what I like to do is I like to order my makeup from Sephora because usually you have uh, some points that you can use and you can get free rewards. Like here they have these 100 point perk rewards, uh, stuff for 250 these little earrings, uh, little makeup kits. So you can use your points towards this. And some stuff's really good, like they had this full-size NARS bronzer for 750 points. And then they also have like trips and stuff too down at the bottom that um, normally they have down here that you can use your points towards. I heard that recently they're going to be uh, giving away like a $100 gift card in exchange for a certain amount of points. So I can't wait till they do that because I've been stacking these points for like years now and I don't really have anything that I like to use it on but sometimes I'll get like a 100 point perk or whatever. And then here they also have on the app the beauty offers so sometimes they'll have offers for the week that are um, like makeup, cosmetics, skincare products that are like 50% off for that week and then 
They also have little perks like you can get this NARS foundation with the purchase of $25. So definitely download the app if you shop at Sephora because you can get a lot of things uh, for free and you can also check out all the sale items just like this. So yeah, I love the uh, Sephora app. This is like one of my favorite apps. Another app that I like is Holt Look. I've been using this for like almost 10 years or whenever it first came out. And this is a Nordstrom company. And on here, I like to go on and see what deals they have. And most of the stuff is uh, really good deals. See that these pants were 55 and now they're 25 on sale. So sometimes I'll order stuff from here. I love the Holt Look app. They also have like a beauty section on here as well. So you can find a lot of good makeup on sale. So here's some Laura Geller makeup. And yeah, they have like skincare, hair products, just everything on here. So this is another app that I really, really like to use. This app right here on the right is my fitness pal. I have to like log in, but this is a app from Under Armour. And you can just jot down, um, like jot down and track your diet and exercise. It shows you like new goals. This is a good app for you to try out if you want to stay a little more consistent. I really like this app. I've been using this for a few years as well and it's a pretty good app. This one's just a photo and video folder. So I have this wallpaper list app that I just found recently and I just like to go on here and download a wallpaper for my phone. I just feel like the quality of them are really good and you can just go through here and find like textures and different things like that and find some good apps that you can use on your phone that's how i got this pink wallpaper i don't know if you can see it's like a little apple right here and it's like a nude pink wallpaper so i got that on that app and the next app i have next to there is unfold so basically you can just create uh, little stories like a white background to put your pictures on for like Instagram stories and you can write on it and stuff um, I don't have anything on here now to show you guys But um, if you want to check this out just go in the app store and it gives you a little bit more information about that Next to unfold I have the a plus signature and this is just basically a watermark app So you can just put watermarks like this onto your pictures and um, You can just use like different fonts and stuff. So this app's pretty basic PicLab is also a newer app that I haven't really used, but you can create collages, photo booth, edit. Um, you can just do uh, a bunch of things to your pictures. So I haven't really used this one yet, but I'm going to try it out. I saw it like recommended on the App Store, so that's why I downloaded it, but I haven't really used it that much. Uh, this one I like sometimes. It's called Rotate Video. So basically, if you have a video that you shoot um, that's... Uh, more like vertical and you want it horizontal you can just uh, put it in here and it'll flip your whole video sideways so you don't have to stress about going back and refilming something sometimes I'll use this if I'm making a little video clip for something um, but this is like a very helpful app it's called rotate video surprisingly I only have one video game on my phone right now usually I'll download a few of them so if I'm waiting somewhere I can kill some time or something but this is a Tekken game and I remember playing Tekken when I was younger so I downloaded the game and it's really fun and you can just kind of battle people on here and uh, fight but it's just a standard fighting game. Um, if you haven't tried it out and you like video games, try this Tekken game out but I haven't played it in a little while so it has to download. But yeah, I like Tekken. So the next two apps are video apps. I have this AMC app. Uh, it's basically the AMC channel app and I think we were waiting to like service my car or something and we had to wait a while so I ended up catching up on Walking Dead when it was on um, on my phone so I downloaded like this app but if you have the AMC channel you can basically just watch any of the shows on here um, they have a ton of different shows there's the Walking Dead Little Drummer Girl and Riviera this show is really good too I like um this show with Julia Stiles it was pretty good so yeah I ended up finishing that and then on here I just have my Netflix app which I think I have to sign in yeah but I basically have Netflix on here too the same if I'm out and I need to kill some time I'll just watch something just put some headphones on and watch something on there so I have here the daily horoscope this is kind of cool it's like a horoscope app I've been having this since I've had like an iPhone 4 and I don't know, I just like using this app. So I'm Pisces and it just kind of gives you your 
your daily, weekly, and monthly uh, horoscope. So sometimes I'll go in here and read it, and it's pretty cool. I ended up putting this purple background on here. So yeah, I just do this sometimes if I'm relaxing and I want to check my horoscope out. I'll go on here and use that app. And Pinterest is another app that I like a lot. I like to look at nail design, home decor, healthy meals, hair. I've been back on using my Pinterest again, like hardcore lately. So if you guys want to follow me on Pinterest, I also have, let's see. Yeah, it's, I think it's at Jules Aliza as well. Can't see it on here, but yeah, I've been uh, using Pinterest a lot lately, especially for like home decor things. The one next to Pinterest is called Kira Kira, and this is the app that everyone uses to create these little sparkles. So as you can see, my garland is sparkling a lot and there's just like sparkles everywhere. And you can kind of lessen it or make it more dramatic. But this is an app that I've seen a lot of people use just for like outfits and ideas like that. And I actually got this app years ago and I deleted it and kind of forgot about it. And then I saw uh, like one or two people had like this effect on their video. And I'm like, oh, I remember the app, but I kind of forgot the name. So I ended up finding it and had the little cloud. So I re-downloaded uh, it. But yeah, this is going to come in handy tomorrow's New Year's Eve, so I'll probably uh, use this for something. So yeah, Kira Kira is the app um, for like the little sparkles. The next one I found from Tati Westbrook, a uh, glam life guru here on YouTube. And it's called Think Dirty. I watched that video and I already tried to use products that are a little less harsh um, and might not like affect my allergies but just watching her video made me realize that maybe I need to cut down on a lot more makeup and skincare products that could be affecting my health. So on here you can basically search any product um, if you want to search shampoo, uh, different products and the ones that have zero are really good. They don't have any harsh chemicals. They're more like all natural and good for you. And then the lower you go, um, I'm just going to type in like, just like a regular drugstore. Let's see, I'll put head and shoulders and see what pops up. Yeah, so head and shoulders danger shampoo. So as you can see, the red is an 8. So it says fragrance and it just tells you... Um, here like usage health impacts and explanations so this one has possible carcinogen and possible allergic reactions and it just tells you like all the junk that's in it so if it's a dirty or bad product it'll have the red this is dirty half and half and then the green is for clean i think this is very helpful especially if you suffer from severe allergies or any health conditions this is really good i have really bad allergies and lately my hands have been getting a little worse so I kind of just been on here uh, researching different products and stuff. So this is a really good app to get. It's called Think Dirty. And let's see, I have one, two, three, four, five, six apps left. I'm not going to go into these two because um, the Waze has like my location and the Nest kind of has um, a lot of personal information. But I have this Nest app and you can use this for any like security cameras. And I also have this connected to my digital thermostat. So basically while I'm upstairs, if it's late at night and it gets a little too hot, I can lower the temperature in my home right from my phone. So I can just uh, dial it down a little if it's like on like 75 and it's hot. I'll bring it down to like 69. And you can just control the temperature from your app um, in your home. So it's pretty cool. And the Waze app is one of my favorite apps. I always talk about this app. And if you do a lot of driving, you should definitely consider getting the Waze app. This helps me out all the time, especially if we're going into the city, if we're going into like New York City or Philadelphia. Um, there's always like traffic and everything and it'll kind of reroute you and give you the fastest way around it. And we always see people getting stuck in traffic and we kind of always uh, use the Waze app. We're like really slick and we go around everything. So yeah, Waze is really good. If you're looking for food too, you can just type in restaurant and it'll show all the restaurants near you. You can find like gluten-free food, everything. So yeah, Waze is a really good app and I think they're owned now by Google. So yeah, I love the Waze app. That's my favorite. 
uh, the Shazam app. I use this all the time too to find music. So basically if you're somewhere and you want to, like you're listening to a song and you don't know who sings it and you want to find out, you just tap the Shazam button and it'll listen to it and it'll pick up on the song. So recently I um, ended up Shazamming this song Yoga by Janelle Monet. And yeah, I like that song. So I ended up doing that and this app is really helpful. You can also do a long press and it'll kind of pick up. Yeah, as it says right there, you can uh, pick up on music that you hear like on a website or Instagram. So Shazam's pretty cool. I always use this app as well. I haven't really used any of these. The Pixar app is brand new. Yes, yeah, I haven't even made like an email for it. But this is just kind of like the other app, the uh, PicLab app. Where you can just put filters and like script and everything on there. Just kind of like edit your photos. So I'll have to try that out and see how I like it. Um, and Glow is another app that I haven't tried out yet. Yeah, you have to create an account for this one. But these are basically just new apps that I haven't tried out for like pictures. Um, and the last one I have here is Calm. I love this app. I recently re-downloaded it on my phone and it just has like really good sounds that help you meditate and go to sleep. And you guys can hear it there. I think I showed this app on my last uh, I like what's on my iPhone video as well. But this is really good app if you want to, like I said, meditate. Um, it has really calm sounds so before you go to bed you can turn this on. It's very calming but... I think you have to pay for like a yearly subscription now so I have to look into that but um, yeah I really like this Calm app. If you're looking for something for the new year that you want to relax or meditate more um, you should definitely try this app out. So there's basically everything on my iPhone XS. If you guys know of any good apps that I can download then just let me know but I'm going to let you guys go and I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye.